Welcome back to Site Tech in your Mountain Earthworks training videos. We're going to now switch from depth and slope to infill designs. So in infill designs under this same project, using my correction source from the base station we have out here, you can see that I have none that are created in here. That's why we have that red box. No designs created in infill. The way that you get started with that is to hit this black box with the arrow next to the designs. If you don't want the extra line work on for your design that you had here, leave that to none selected. If you hit this black box, you can go in and we can begin creating designs. There's three different ways to make designs in here. If you hit create, there's level, slope, and alignment and section. The beginning one that I'm gonna start with here for this video is level. So we hit level and right off the bat, is simply ask, where do you want that elevation? Or you can set down and do a here position. So let's say that you need to create a flat pad right here. They gotta put a job trailer in here, you name it, whatever it is, you wanna bench off this elevation to at least get started. You can give it a name because it will save these as designs in here for you. You can always go back to at different times. It's not a one and done. So we'll call this the uh, pad for office. Well, right off the bat here, you can pick guidance focus. We can use the left tip, middle, or right. I'll leave it in the middle. If you know what the elevation is, you can key it in. If you don't know what it is, you can hit this here position, and it will auto-populate the elevation. Once you hit apply, it'll create a flat plane that's named as a design for you. We can come to the bottom right and hit select and now it's in here as a flat plane. It's a flat plane that just goes out to a certain point. As we zoom out in 3D, you can see that it's just a big, huge circle, but it is perfectly flat from that point with GPS. We still have elevation. Now, at this point, you can start grading. If you feel like, oh, that was a little bit high or a little bit low, we can still go to vertical offset and say, okay, I benched, I was just a hair high, we want to cut this maybe six inches lower at a minus. So you still have the ability to turn autos on, to elevate or change your vertical offset and still gain corrections off of it. Now you can go ahead and start creating that flat plane. And this works the same with uh, dozers, skid steers, excavators, graders, you name it. Anything running earthworks has the same ability. So now you can go ahead and just grade and keep checking grade, turn your autos on, you name it. So thank you for watching this video from Site Taking Our Mountain on infill designs level plane.